hi everyone welcome to our marine knowledge channel this is your sailor basha so again uh, one more technical video so basically in this video i would like to share how to dismantle how to open a fuel pump puncture valve for a man bmw mc minus c engines and basically whenever uh, you are uh, carrying out any any major work with main engines you have to carry out default safety precautions like you have to engage your main engine turning gear turn off means shut down close air starting valve close starting air distributor valve and you have to make a permit to work some ports need immobilization to do any maintenance work with main engines all those things you have to keep it in mind and most of the main thing is you have to wear proper ppe my any of my videos don't support uh, working without proper ppe so you have to be responsible for your own safety and uh, for when we comes to maintenance in fuel pump what we need to do is initially once the main engine, main engine is stopped you have to, to engage the turning gear for the fuel pump job you have to close the air which is going for the puncture valve and then you have to close the starting air valve and then do not start board should be tagged and main engine should be in engine control and you have to isolate the fuel inlet valves and drain the fuel pump make sure the valve is completely isolated because sometimes if you are doing the fuel pump job with the heavy fuel oil it will be in a very high temperature it will be more than 100 temperature in case if it splashes it will really gives a bad injury skin injury it's a burn actually so be careful when you are taking precautions do follow the precautions which is mentioned in the makers manual make sure you read the makers manual before doing any maintenance work because even though if the fundamental is same for all the engines some makers give different instruction for their machinery maintenance so aware of that we will go inside the video now we are going to open the puncture valve for man bmw mc minus c main engine fuel pump so before starting the job always ensure your safety precautions since we are going to do the fuel pump job i had already told what are all things what did we need to do close the air for the puncture valve next what we need to do is you have to close the fuel for the fuel pump so these two are very important so after draining for removing the puncture valve you need to take out the high pressure pipe so be careful when you are removing the high pressure pipe and uh, the reason why i told be careful is sometime oil may splash out so now you have to disconnect the air pipe which goes to the puncture valve so this is what we are doing and this is the reason why we are isolating the air supply for puncture valve removal so next what we need to do is we can start using the special crowbar means special crow type spanner sorry for uh, i told crowbar it's not crowbar it's a crow type spanner and you have to use a pipe to push the 
push in order to open the puncture rod because it will be always very tight so one person will be little hard so you may need a help of one more person so just take a help of assistance of one more person and just give a push then you can start opening the puncture bell it is uh, really very hard to remove to open the puncture roll because it is all the time like that wherever you go whichever type of uh, fuel pump it may be removal of puncture valve will be a little challenging and that is the reason we use uh, a long pipe along with the extension ratchet and uh, it is not so easy to open it that is the idea so now uh, we are going to use a bigger pipe and uh, we are going to open try to open again a bigger pipe and give you a big push yes okay now yeah it is already opened so next uh, you can the this kind of a crow spanner you know you can keep it in any position you want that is the biggest advantage in using this kind of spanner so now you can easily open it by hand also uh, when we are working on this it is on diesel oil so the pump is not very the puncture valve is also not very hot so this is how you have to remove the puncture valve from place I believe this video must have given you some idea about how to remove the puncture valve so next you can see just you can see the suction valve also just take it from place that's all so this is how you have to remove puncture valve and suction valve from fuel pump thank you I believe after watching this uh, video you must have got uh, some idea about how to dismantle puncture valve and suction valve from fuel pump if you have any doubt any queries please whatsapp me directly to my whatsapp number i will be definitely replying you sometimes on board it is very hard for me to upload videos or uh, reply to any comments because uh, as all aware that we have limitation in uh, internet so you can always anytime message me through whatsapp i will definitely share whatever uh, knowledge i have on marine thank you all keep supporting